the comedy in The Wire doesn't get talked about enough. I mean, the show is hilarious. Yeah, it's got death, drama, and controversy, and I love talking about all of that, but there are so many funny scenes that it's really hard to pick out 10, but that's what I'ma try to do. And I know I ain't gonna be able to get to all of them, so go ahead and help me out in the comment section and let me know what some of your favorite funny scenes or moments are in The Wire. And if you enjoy content like this, like the video and subscribe to the channel for more of my videos in the future. And if you haven't seen The Wire yet, here is your spoiler alert. It's your boy Evan Ladd and Clear here. Let's get into it, man. Number 1. Omar and Ronaldo Rob Andre Yeah, the play went smooth like Omar said it would. They got the package, but they didn't leave after that, did they? The box of new Newport. <laughs> Yo, Ronaldo is so confused as to why Omar is paying for cigarettes at a bodega they just robbed. We know about Omar's code though, and this is an example. Being a bodega, Andre is supposed to be selling cigarettes, not G-Packs. So Omar is going to pay for the product that's supposed to be selling out the shop, and he's going to steal the product that ain't supposed to be selling out the shop. Him asking for change is just too funny, y'all. Ronaldo just cannot believe this man is doing a legitimate business transaction after robbing the place. And I'm going to come out and say it, y'all. Out of all the stick-ups and robberies Omar committed, I think he enjoyed this one the most. But let me know in the comments section, what Omar robbery was your favorite? Hey, yo, you seen the look on his mug? That's the reason why we get up every morning. <laughs> Number two, Bubbles fishing for dope. <laughs> My man, Bubs. In the video I did about Bubbles, I asked y'all what your favorite scene of Bubs was, and a lot of y'all said this, and this shit is absolutely classic. Y'all know Bubs is my dude, so the entire time I'm sitting there going, come on Bubs, come on Bubs, you can do it bro, you know what I mean? We want him to get away with this so bad. I mean, come on bro. That right there is a face of determination. And Johnny put it perfectly, Bubbles fished his wish. Fished your wish, Bubs? <laughs> oh yeah. And you should have seen the one that got away. <laughs> Number three, Shamrock taking notes. Yeah, this one is funny simply because it's so stupid. Like, Shamrock, come on, man. If anyone outside the co-op got eyes on those notes, they got what's being talked about minute by minute because that's what your dumbass was writing down. I gotta say, man, I understand why String is so pissed off. Nigga, is you taking notes on a criminal fucking conspiracy? What the fuck is you thinking, man? Number four, any Clay Davis rant. Major crimes? Shit. I gotta be honest, y'all. I couldn't pick which one of Clay's rants were the funniest, so we just gonna put them all together. Clay Davis was possibly the funniest character on the show, so y'all knew he was making the list. My man was always in some shit, and whenever he didn't get his way, you were guaranteed one of his classic rants. So, just enough for you to get that new patio, but not enough for that guy from Pittsburgh to take your place. You, 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 you think I'm done. All y'all ungrateful bitches thinking you can throw me out the boat. Money laundering? They gonna come talk to me about money laundering in West Baltimore? She, she. Number five, Omar in court. Now I was laughing from the second Omar walked in the courtroom till the moment he silences Levy. Yeah, I mean, all of Omar's lies, truths, and insults on the stand were hilarious, but this man really showed up in street clothes with a tie on, bro. And hey, the prosecutor told McNulty anything with a tie, so Omar rolled up in something with a tie. When he waves the tie at her, bro, I die laughing every time, man. He even gets the piss string off in the process. And I believe that this is most definitely foreshadowing what ends up happening in the string. And what is your occupation? Occupation? What exactly do you do for a living, Mr. Little? I robs drug dealers. How 
was a man robbed drug dealers for eight or nine years and lived to tell about it. <clears throat> Day to time, I suppose. Number six, Bird in Court. All right, so Bird had probably a good, eh, let's say 40 lines in the entire show. 38 of those lines were him cursing somebody out, and the other two were absolutely hilarious. Excuse me? Um... <laughs> and just look at Bird's face. He is actually attempting to answer the question. He's thinking hard as hell for those two seconds, and it makes me laugh every time I see it, bro. Mr. Hilton, are you the second coming of our Savior? Excuse me? Are you Jesus Christ come back to Earth? Um... See you at sentencing. Number seven, Bodie Clown's Poot for always getting burr. Yo, so the entire time Bodie and Poot spend together, Bodie is always ripping on Poot for being too thirsty, which leads him to getting burnt by girls. In my opinion, when it comes to cracking jokes, this one is phenomenal. Just the way Bodie is walking when he says dick looking like a fried chicken wing is straight comedy. He looks like a backwards ass cowboy and shit. Instead of like this, my man walking like this. <laughs> dick looking like a fried chicken wing. Number eight, Snoop buys nail gun. Now we knew who Snoop was before this scene, but I feel this was an actual introduction to her character. There are so many things in this scene that are hilarious. Hear me out, y'all. She brings in the old nail gun that was obviously used four or five times the last month to seal tombs with, and then she leaves it there. <laughs> like, what are you doing, Snoop? But the entire encounter was actually very interesting. Snoop used her knowledge to figure out how the salesman was saying the nail gun worked, and you can tell the salesman never met anyone like Snoop before. He had no idea how to react when she handed him $800, and then Snoop goes, nah, you take care of that for me, man. <laughs> and I love the line when she's talking to Chris. The man said this was the Cadillac. He meant Lexus, but he ain't know it. Man, shit, I say no tiny ass 22, where on those drop a nigga plenty of days, man. Motherfuckers get up, man, you like a pinball, whip your ass up. Big joints, though, big joints, man. Just break a bone, you just say, fuck it. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go with this right here, man. How much y'all owe? 669 plus tax. No, no, you, you just pay at the register. No, man, you go ahead and handle that for me, man. And keep the rest for your time. This is $800. So what, man? You earned that bump like a motherfucker, man. Keep that shit. Number 9. Bunk's Mouse Killing Story Now, The Wire was full of stories. Were they true or not? We'll never know. But one story I wish was acted out was the story when Bunk shot a mouse with his gun. When McNulty asks him how he caught the mouse, Bunk goes, Caught it? I lit its ass up. <laughs> Bro, that shit is so funny. McNulty is in complete disbelief that he used his surface weapon to kill a mouse. I mean, how did you catch the mouse? Catch him, I lit his ass up. You shot the mouse? Mm-hmm. You're nine? First shot killed my wife's dress shoe. Got him with the second. What? You shot a mouse with your service weapon? Yeah. I can just picture Bunk Drunk shooting his wife's slipper, then shooting the mouse and reacting like this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Number 10. Landsman and Bunk use a photocopier as a lie detector. Anyone who hasn't seen The Wire yet and is still here with me? Yes, this actually worked. Landsman and Bunk literally duct taped this kid's hands to the scanner of a copy machine and told him it was a lie detector. Oh my god, man. After every question, they copied the word true or false and this kid fully believed it. He confessed to the murder and everything. Like, are you kidding me, bro? 
but this shit makes me laugh so hard every time I see it, man. The bigger the lie, the more they believe. The Wire is not known for its humor, but god damn, it's a funny show, man. And this video was fun as hell to make, but I'ma wrap it up now. I know there were plenty other funny scenes that I didn't get to mention, so go ahead and help me out in the comment section and tell me some of your favorite funny scenes from The Wire. I gotta give a huge shout out to all of y'all for watching, I can't thank y'all enough. If you haven't already, like the video and subscribe to the channel for more of my videos in the future cause I got plenty more content coming. Your boy Evan Aladdin Clear, outta here.